And just when you thought it was safe to turn on the computer again, here is David Yasko and the Westbury Midweek Update, the fastest three minutes on the internet. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's go. Let's, let's have, talk about our folks on our prayer list. Arthur Holly. Arthur Holly is... Uh, uh, is suffering from some lung issues, and so we need to keep him in our prayers. Also, Arthur's son, David Holly, uh, up in Fort Worth, suffered a stroke and uh, continues to have seizures and is in the hospital. And so please keep your prayer uh, ready for uh, for both Arthur and, uh, and David Holly. Calvin Rogers, Calvin uh, continues to improve. It's going to be a slow, long process. But one thing that needs to be a long-term process is our prayers. Cora Northcutt. Cora is uh, in an assisted living place and is lonely and is depressed and would love for you to call her. Her number is, get your pen out. Okay, I'm going to wait a couple of seconds while you get your pen out. Uh, and uh, and let's see, I, you know, we'll just... I, Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow it's, it's Tuesday, so Wednesday, November 4th, while we're waiting on you to get your pen out, Wednesday, November 4th, we are continuing in our series on the Ten Commandments, and that starts at 4 o'clock. Now, last week, I couldn't get Facebook to schedule it. it. It did it straight away, and so it's supposed to be at 4 o'clock. It will be at 4 o'clock on YouTube. Um, Facebook will have to see it. It may go up immediately, which is what it did last week. Okay, you have your pens. Uh, Cora Northcutt, 281-498-3301, 281-498-3301, if you've ever been to song leading school, 281-498-3301, uh, and, and it will ask you if you want building one or building two, take building two and ask for Cora Northcutt and they will get you to her. She would love to hear from you. My mother, Dot had a, a nerve ablation on her back a couple of days ago and so it takes about 10 days to get over that so she's in a lot of pain and uh, and pray for her bill continues to improve and went to the barber shop got a haircut and uh, and a manicure and he is, seems to be doing well James Wiley our brother Wiley had a little had a little dental work done so he's going to be out of commission for a day or two tonight at seven o'clock I will be teaching his class on the book of Ephesians, and, uh, and if you want to, uh, to know how to do that, go to my Facebook page, and, uh, and Joni Glenn has so marvelously uh, given us the instructions on how to do that. Devin Albright, that is Joni's grandson. Uh, is in need of some prayer. So let's continue to pray for him. Mike White's cousin, Johnny White, who is mentally handicapped, uh, was go but sweet, loves the Lord, Mike said, uh, but uh, was on his way to have a, an optical procedure done. And they did, a, they did a temperature scan on him and he had a temperature. Since then, he's been diagnosed with COVID. Uh, this is up in Arkansas. So let's keep Mike White's uh, cousin, Johnny White, uh, in your prayers. Let's see, Sunday morning, face-to-face -face worship. Also, during the worship hour uh, that we have at Westbury, our children's classes will be meeting face-to-face. -face. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, go to the His Kids Team page, and they will tell you everything you need to know about how to make sure that transaction happens safely. Uh, worship service face-to-face uh, -face, Sunday morning, 9 o'clock. Also, it'll be on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, so that's it. The Westbury Midweek Update, the fastest three minutes, in this case, four minutes, uh, on the Internet. God bless you so long. We'll see you tomorrow night.